Because of the nature of eukaryotic linear DNA and the ways in which these cells divide, there are two highly conserved features that have developed, centromeres and telomeres. And whenever you hear that term highly conserved, that means that it shows up at a lot of different phases throughout the evolutionary steps. And usually that means that it's very important in the evolutionary process. Centromeres are something that are very highly conserved. They're 170 base pair sequence in the middle of a chromosome. And it, this can be repeated 5,000 to 15,000 times depending on the organism. And the centromere is a highly conserved sequence that serves as an attachment site for your spindle fibers, which are the microtubules that emerge when the cells are dividing during mitosis or meiosis. And so centromere is the point where the microtubules of the spindle will connect and then that will allow them to separate the different chromatids during that process. I think this is a good moment to talk about the difference between a kinetochore and a centromere. A centromere is the actual DNA sequence of these bases. This is the attachment site where the spindle fibers connect. And remember those spindle fibers are just microtubules that are formed during the mitotic or meiotic process. But a lot of times you will hear people refer to the centromere as the kinetochore. And there are a lot of similarities, but there is a very important distinction. And that is that the kinetochore is actually a protein complex that connects to the centromere and allows for that binding to occur between the microtubules and the centromere. So the kinetochore is the set of proteins between the two. They're often used interchangeably because they are involved in the same part of the process and they're very closely located to each other. But there is a distinction and that is something that can come up. So kinetochore, remember that is the protein sequence and centromere, remember that is the DNA sequence that serves as a signal for where the microtubules of that spindle should attach.